I purchased uh, two non-working TI-92s uh, from different sellers on eBay and uh, I'll see if I can uh, fix them. I am probably going to be moving uh, quite slow in this video because I've never worked on a 92 before. So this is going to be a new territory for me. But uh, hopefully it's not too, too different from uh, the previous ones I've, I've worked on, uh, such as the 92, I mean the 89, titanium, and uh, etc. So we'll see. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one is uh, I purchased the first one for seven dollars, and uh, let's see what the description says. So this is what the seller is saying about it. Uh, listing is for a '92 graphing calculator with uh, the sliding cover, and it is being sold for parts. He tested it. Uh, okay, let me just read. It. I tried I tried testing it and using this calculator plenty of time with different batteries but I have not been able to uh, get it to turn on. It does have a slight amount of corrosion in the battery compartment, so, but I don't know if this is what, what is causing the issue. So as is not working for parts, so yeah. So I'm probably just gonna figure out which one is which. I don't wanna uh, turn them around because uh, there's uh, shipping addresses on both of them. So yeah, so, so one has corrosion and uh, the second one actually, the seller for the second one actually said that uh, he didn't have a corrosion. Uh, I think he; those were not his uh, specific words, but uh, let's see. So the second one was purchased. Uh, it was originally listed for thirteen fifty, but uh, I purchased the second one for uh, ten dollars. So let's see. Okay, so this is uh, the description. Now, working Texas. Instrument, TI-92 graphing calculator and sliding cover, battery contacts are clean and there is no corrosion from batteries being left in too long. Cover has very minimal wear, calculator turns on but doesn't seem to work. It will require four AA batteries and may need a new backup lithium battery needs repair. So I actually uh, asked this uh, seller to send me a picture because he said uh, the calculator would come on which was quite interesting. And uh, let me look for the picture right quick. He sent me two pictures and say that uh, uh, that's what the calculator does. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. So I asked him, uh, "Can you send me? A, can you send picture of uh, of the of, of the calculator being on?" So these are the two pictures he sent me. So this is the calculator being on. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, at this point, I already wanted to uh, purchase the item anyways. Uh, even if, uh, I don't know if it's a display issue. Uh, what is going to be uh, uh, very, very nice is uh, if it's just uh, a brightness issue. Uh, like a contrast, maybe if I adjust the contrast, it, it will work. Or uh, if not, then uh, that would, it would be a much, much uh worst issue but uh, that's something we're gonna figure out in a minute all right so that's it for the uh presentation and a quick background about uh the 92 they came out in 1995 so yeah that is that these calculators are fairly old about 2027 20, okay so let's start the unboxing This one has a lot of damage on the display. Uh, it's kind of weird how people take care of their stuff. So yeah, this one has a bunch of scratches. You can clearly see. It might be hard to uh, pick it up on the camera, but uh, there are some some very uh, uh, noticing noticeable scratches on the display. Hmm. If I known this, I probably would not uh, purchase it because someone has definitely been inside of this character it's been opened before because the uh it has a, a pro protective cover to protect the display and that protective cover is not cover i mean it's not it's not scratch it's the display itself uh, uh, inside of it so that is not good already so yeah you know you have buyers like this uh they just want to get rid of the product so they don't tell the whole truth uh which is uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, people are what they are. Okay, so like I said, I'm probably gonna be moving slow uh, in this with this. So I haven't watched any videos about how to take this off. So I guess you just uh, uh, 
uh, slide this down to open the the battery compartment. So this is the first one I'm gonna be working on because uh, I just wanna be done with this uh, really quick. Uh, so definitely this is the one with the corrosion. This is uh, the one that was that, that I purchased for seven dollars, I guess. So yeah, this is uh, in quite bad. This is uh, in a really bad shape. You can see corrosion everywhere. Corrosion on on the batteries uh, where the batteries sit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to open this up, and it takes a four uh, double A batteries. I'm not even gonna test the. Uh, I'm not even gonna test the double A batteries here because of the corrosion. So, uh, you know what? Let's just uh, put the battery in it just in case. So obviously that did not work, but uh, you know, part of uh, of being a, a good technician is uh, to try all the possibilities. Even though I knew it wouldn't work, now I know for a fact that it doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and take this out. And I put my battery aside. So I can see that uh, this one has uh, several screws in it. So let me uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this one has about eleven screws. I don't know if they are all the same length. Oh, there's a, a twelfth here. Twelve screws. We got some more screws here. This is absolute. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's uh, it's really it's really irritating the uh, kind of length these companies would go just just to keep you out of the product that you purchased. One thing you wanna do is uh, you wanna have this uh, face down because these screws don't have any retentions, as you can see. And they just uh, sit in here and if you uh, flip this somehow it's just it's, you're gonna spend a lot of time trying to uh, uh, put them back together the keyboard so yeah this guy definitely did something to this calculator there's uh, damage everywhere I don't think this can be repaired the sound of corrosion here indicate that uh, this thing has been liquid, uh, liquid damage somehow. So yeah, <laughs> this is one of the worst possible buyer. I mean, seller you can come across on any platform, whether it's eBay, Amazon, online. Yeah, definitely. One thing he did not mess with though is the display, but he still managed to put scratches on the display. I don't know how. I don't even know how this is possible. I have to be honest. So there is a lot of liquid damage here, as you can see. I don't have any uh, uh, multimeter to see if this one is even getting any power. It probably isn't at this point. Okay, so it looks like uh, I'm trying to detach this from... Uh, I don't know what this is, but let me go and remove uh, this first. I don't know why it won't come off okay so i guess you didn't have to be too gentle with it <laughs> but uh now that i have it off uh this one is pretty much just uh the cover so what i'm gonna do is uh uh i'm just gonna remove this for now i can always put it back i just want to make sure there isn't extra corrosion on here so uh, this is heavily cor uh, corroded so what I'm gonna do I'm actually going to the bathroom and wash this with uh, soap and water it's fine as long as I don't uh, go near the display cables and stuff I should be fine all right so I put a lot of uh, I'm not a lot I put a little bit of uh, soap on this uh, toothbrush and uh, I'm gonna put some water on it and just uh, scrub it like this I'm going to try to get as much corrosion as I can. It's not the best job ever, but it's definitely, uh, this is definitely the nicest this calculator has been since, uh, 
uh, in a very long time, I want to say, because, uh, yeah, as you can see, all the cor almost all the corrosions. Well, I try to uh, get rid of uh, as much corrosion as I can. So, let it dry uh, for a little bit. Now, I'm going to see if uh, uh, we have any uh, chance of uh, bringing this thing back to life. I'm just going to put uh, maybe two or three screws to hold it into place. Okay, looks like uh, we are not that lucky. Alright, so this is definitely a dead end. Usually with part stuff, I don't really uh, put everything back together. Because I want to be able to access them uh, quickly. So I just uh, put all this stuff here. This is the uh, second one. So this second one actually turns on. But there is no, uh, it doesn't have any, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't work, so it might just be, uh, let's see, a brightness, uh, contrast issue, but we'll see. Okay, so it boots up right away. This is how you adjust the contrast, diamond key and up is going to increase it, diamond key down is going to decrease it to make it darker. So if diamond key doesn't work, then, uh. Uh, I might just open it up, uh, just uh, take everything off and put them back and see if that will fix it. Okay, so I seem to be really lucky with this one. But the display is, uh, let's see, well this one is working so that's a, that's a good thing. This one seems to have been just uh, a contrast issue. But the display is really hard to see. I don't know if uh, this is uh, just this unit or if this was uh, how the 92 looked like back in the day. So that's, uh, I'm going to have to figure that out. But as you can see, this one is working fine. So I'm really happy with that one. At least I spent $10 for this and uh, it hasn't gone completely to waste. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's make sure everything works. This must be running one of the oldest firmware because it does not uh, let you uh, go to the bottom with uh, the up arrow. Okay. But I don't know, this display just uh, looks uh, quite bad, I want to say. Uh, I'm tempted to remove uh, this cover, see if uh, that will do anything. Uh, let's see. Okay, app, home, okay, mod, F3, so, oh, this one only has uh, two pages, okay, so this is one of the early model, and, uh, yeah, so, well, at least this one is working, uh, let me see if all the uh, keyboard, I mean, key, keys are working, let's see, I'm trying to, I'm looking for the clear button. Okay, this is the clear button. I uh, usually just uh, op open up uh, the calculator and uh, you know, even if uh, even if it works well, I usually just open it up and uh, check to see if there isn't any corrosion because corrosion is uh, one of the worst enemy of these calculators. And uh, you know, but uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'll probably do it later on because I don't feel like doing that right now. But uh, there is that. Yeah, so far I'm happy that this worked. I'm just uh, not happy about the display. If this was or this hard display was is was supposed to look uh, back in the ninety back in ninety five, uh, that's a shame. <laughs> it's not. It's not really that good. It's not good at all. The display is really hard to see. Uh, I don't know. This is as far as we'll go. Yeah, it looks like blue. All right. But yeah, so that is that. I didn't have to do anything else to this one besides uh, putting new batteries in it and adjust the contrast. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section and uh, I will do my best to get to them. Thank you.